at an open house at Camp Roland. Bob Wilson on the move tonight, riding along with the horse guard. You want, you want the longest possible range that you can get? Just hang on to the main. I'm Bob Wilson on the move in Niantic with the Governor's Horse Guard. Today we're going to show you how they train for Saturday's big event. We're the oldest cavalry unit in continuous existence in the country. And yes, we represent the state and the governor, in and out of the state, by the way. Uh, but a lot of other things we do. Horses really are natural swimmers. You have to get them up at quite a high distance in the water, and they can swim very well. And, and uh, he definitely swam today because I went up to here. They have been around 218 years. The governor's horse guard can go just about anywhere. Today they're swimming. It's all part of the training. The horses just pull you in, and you don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you have a riding experience before this? No, I had no riding experience and no military experience. So you learned how to ride like that just from this program? Absolutely. The governor's horse guard is all volunteer. The 60 men and women in the cavalry put in more than 45,000 hours a year. We train every Thursday for crowd control. We come down here to camp for eight days and train, not just on horseback, but we do a lot of dismounted training as well. Five days a week, Donna Sims is an attorney in West Hartford. She just joined the cavalry and takes a tremendous amount of pride in the unit. I'm a recruit, so I'm not uh, an experienced uh, person. I'll be uh, getting my spurs. This Saturday, the Guard will be in action at Governor Rowland's Military Review and Open House at Camp Rowland. I'm Bob Wilson on the move in Niantic for NBC 30 Connecticut News. Thank you very much. Dedicated people. <laughs> Showing their stuff, these horses are on guard for the governor. The term equitation is a fancy word for, well, horsing around. News Channel 8's Tom Lewis traveled to Niantic to do just that with some highly trained and dedicated horse players. some modern-day horse soldiers. Oldest cavalry group in continuous existence in a country, 218 years. Oh! Members of the first company, Governor's Horse Guards, are prepping for an appearance before an estimated 10 to 12,000 visitors this Saturday. Don't think the big crowds will spook these horses. <laughs> After all, crowd control is one of their primary functions. The crowd gets a feeling of, of being overwhelmed by the, 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 just the sheer massiveness of these horses. I don't think you can get a true picture of their size uh, unless you stand next to them. You see them on the field training. They don't look all that, that, that awesome until they get close to you. Straight up, put your heels okay. and push yourself into the saddle. Like that. That was good. I think I pulled a groin. Very good. Sergeant Brian Dean leads this group of volunteers. He leads along with his combustible companion. I'm on fire. That's good. Not literally, but this is your horse. Fire. Uh, tell me about fire. How old is fire? Oh, it's a 10-year-old standard bread. Yep, standard bread. What are the odds that I'm going to get thrown from this horse? Slim to none. Slim to none. So basically, I'm fairly safe. Absolutely. Yeah. Has he ever thrown anybody before? Oh, uh, yes, he has. It's nice very, to know. Very, 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 <laughs> Did yeah. you tell that person it was slim to none before he got thrown? It was me. Oh, it was you. Okay. Sometimes you have to put your hoof down in order to preserve the tail of an American tradition. 